Seven, you think to yourself, I need to do a, a late three. I've got to find two seconds. Now, although you put good tyres on, there's a door open. I've had a bit of that drama going myself. Um, when you consider a two-second improvement, it's a big, it's a big ask for the drivers for sure. 0.53. Shane Van Gisbergen running right up to the exit wall at Reed Park. This is the little straight line run. He's actually just wiped the driver's mirror against the concrete. Just adjusted it a couple of mils. He's on his best lap at the moment. And there he is. He's off the road. He's having troubles. Oh. Here's what happened to Jamie down in the chase. Inside front locking. Oh! Man, it hit that bump so hard. He was very lucky to get away with that. Five, we've got Davison and Rick Kelly. Replay of Jason Bright leaving nothing to spare. Uh, that's a hit. That was actually a, a whack, wasn't it? Yep. And up the top of the hill, Shane Van Gisbergen, motocross style. Ooh. That is so close to going in the fence on the left-hand side when you do that. If you're enjoying... Oh. No. Another lock-up and another wide run, Garth Tander. Just so he's sitting in eighth and no improvement. And uh, so sitting on a two minute 5.1. Oh, and off the road goes Lowndes. Gee, we're seeing a lot of people having a battle under brakes at the moment. Yeah. That's not good. Lowndes 16th at the moment. Here's the replay. There's nowhere near stopping. Ooh, and that's violent the way that impacts that little culvert down there. Lucky to get out the other side of that. And remember, in your red flag qualifying session, you get Sinbin. They're off at massive speed. Would have taken in kilos of gravel at the front of it. Oh, he hit the, the wall a nudge yeah, yeah. too. So Moffat's just jumped up 12 spots. And uh, there's Will Davison and Slade. He's given the wall a rub. Boy, the guys are at it out there at the moment. Lap, but for the tail end numbers. That's right. In fact, his first sector cost him the time, didn't it, Neil? It was a 51-1 on the first sector for Garth. And off down the hill he goes. This is a chance to move him up, and there's trouble Moffat for James Moffat. He's gone into the fence, and this is a potential red flag with 19 seconds remaining. They'll probably let it run. Someone may get caught, but Reynolds has gone P2. Red Did he get across the line, the Reynolds? Because yeah, the, the red, red flag came out. Three, three, That's going to kill Coulthard. Yeah, Coulthard was on the best first sector split. The red flag has come out as a result of Moffat in the wall, the second GRM car this weekend. David Reynolds may well have pulled one out of the fire here. And did he get there? That was very close, wasn't it? I, that was a whisker, and I think Reynolds has made, been able to get across the control line before the red was triggered. And you've got a feel for those on a lap, including Coulthard, who just done the fastest first sector. So it runs wide, dirt on the tyres for James Moffat. His dad had a moment like that in 1986 in a Holden dealer team car and found the wall on the left side. And then down here over the top of the ripple strip, this is what happened to Richard Musket in this car earlier in the weekend in the co-driver session. So now it's starting to cross up sideways. Oh. He's glanced the inside wall. And that's easy to do. I've done that there on that wall on the right-hand side, and, and it always pushes the car wide. Sometimes you can get away with just running wide without getting the fence, but that's hit very hard in the end. And race control confirming the session will not restart. And believe it or not, Scafie James is ninth in this field. He's made the top ten shootout. Exactly. But because he's triggered the red, red flag, flag, I wonder what now happens. We're going to go and have a look at our rule book on that one. But uh, wild completion to qualifying. Second time that car's eaten concrete at the top of the hill this weekend. You lose your fastest lap, don't you? So yeah. pretty sure he's done. So I think that'll pop him out. It'll put Bright to ninth and Tander. It'll put his teammate into the tent if that happens. That's at full speed. So at real time, that has hit very hard. And That's similar to the Shane Van Gisbergen one in terms of damage by the look. And Fabian Coulthard, he was the one that was on for a great lap. On board now, check this out, have a listen. Oh, that's a bone rattler. Yeah, and that's going to be a big job tonight, that one. Now watch this. This is close. Now red flag comes out after. 
after. So he's clear. That's Good. great. Great news for Dave Reynolds. And uh, confirmation as I just was looking in the ops manual just to double check my facts, but it came up on Cam's race control that 34 loses its fastest lap. Unfortunately, it loses more than that. There's a lot of work to redeem that car now overnight, sadly, for the crew at Wilson Security, Gary Rogers Motorsport. So, two minutes, 4.422 McLaughlin provisional pole. Reynolds snuck one in with fractions remaining. Mostert, Waters, Winterbottom, Coulthard, Van Giz, Courtney, Bright, Tander. Wink and up then outside. 11. Wow. You just completed the sentence for me. And then Rick Kelly, Michael Caruso, Lowndes down in 19. Here's the confirmation up on screen for you. Check out where your favourite combination sits. But so far, a supreme speed for Shell V Power Racing and Scotty McLaughlin, Frenchman Alex Premer, a two minute 4.2. Nice job for all of those that earned a spot in that top 10. That was a tough session. The track clearly got greasier. The wind picked up. And then we had that wild moment at the end for James Norton. A lot of people running out of road under brakes in varying ways. Here's the second page. Outside the top 10. That's a turn up for the books when Jamie Wincup is not in a top 10 shootout. Looking further down, we heard, but we've not yet confirmed that Will Davison had a wall issue. Craig Lowndes down the order as well. And unfortunately for James Moffat, after all that great work, after that great lap time that got him into the top 10, his name now sits in 20 seconds. So not only damage, but uh, crestfallen when you see your name down there in 22nd. The reigning Bathurst champions will start from position 16 and you can tell from the body language of Will Davison you're not real happy. What happened? Where, we heard you on the radio say something about the wall. Where? <laughs> uh, just so down through the grate, just on the exit, just of uh, sort of Reed Park on the run up to Mick Philamy there. Just, just uh, you know, pretty committed. Just trying to just scrape a tenth or two out of the car. And uh, yeah, I just got a bit of understeer and I thought I was going to be all right. I kept the foot into it uh, on the exit there and uh, just, just couldn't quite get the front grip uh, at that last moment. Just grazed the wall. And um, there's hardly a mark on it. Is, did it break something or? Uh, literally, well, we obviously damaged the wheel. So I was, I was praying I'd got away with it just by a, a wheel damage, but it's just bent the lower control arm as well. So um, I'm, I'm, yeah, listen, it's not a disaster. Uh, but yeah, I'm shattered. I just want to have a crack at the shootout. I'm just, um, just shattered anyway. I hope Sunday's kinder to you. Thanks, Will. It's all good. Cheers. Dave Reynolds, just want to grab a quick yeah, chat. Put my hat on. Hang on. Put your hat on, Dave. Before this they session, you said this, it yeah. was the best qualifying session of the season. Congratulations into the top 10 shootout. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really excited with that. Um, I might have got lucky there with a few people on the red flag, but, you know, so be it. You know, I think we were just like half a second before it came out, but... Yeah, uh, it was looking pretty grim. Not grim, but just the car wasn't feeling good to the last run and Al made a good good tune-up and, uh, yeah, come alive and it was all right. It was pretty emotional in this garage. Betty yeah, was crying. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it's, a, it's a great thing to be in the top 10 shootout here at Bathurst. Yeah, it's awesome. And you want to be on the right side of the ad break too because that's when the track comes good. And I got screwed over a few years ago with that. So, um, yeah, we're on the, on the good side now. Congratulations, Dave. Well done. No worries. Thank you.